Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our Start from Scratch Elm Creek run here. Um, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to run over here and get some gas. But uh, we did a lot of stuff in... Well, I did a lot of stuff leading up to and in the last episode. We did all our soil sampling and, and all that stuff, so we got that data now ready to go. And then all we have left to do now is fast forward a couple months so that we can mow our last round of grass and go from there all right um let's pay off a bunch of the loan i mean we got so much money that that will be a good chunk of a uh, discount on our interest rate i guess i should move you off of here we do need to get a uh, lime thing. I mean, I don't think... I think our... Let me check real quick. Our pH is actually okay slash good. So we probably are okay without the lime. I mean, I would love to have it topped off, to be perfectly honest, but it seems like it's actually close enough. I don't know if the lime would be worth anything. Um, how much score are we actually getting for our pH control? 12.9. I mean, that's pretty good. We might wait till that gets below 10 before we worry about it. Um, it's really the weed control, the tillage, and the, I mean, the, it's really the nitrogen right now that's dinging us. So let's go ahead and fast forward another day. Again, looking at the calendar just to double check. We can do sorghum t next month. We're not going to do it till, ne till May, so that's fine. So we'll just fast forward along. I always feel like I'm forgetting something <laughs> when I'm about to fast forward. All right, uh, pH is actually down to bad now. Okay, well then that's good to see. In a, well, okay, that's not everywhere, but it is bad in a few places. So we, we might still, when it comes time for crop, just top it off, just because, just to say. Um, how are we doing on stuff? Um, let's see, our grass is still growing. It'll be ready to harvest next month. We, bread is not at a great price right now. I mean, it's not terrible, but definitely have had better prices any new equipment that we love i mean the fent obviously is really nice but nothing we can do right now um a <laughs> whole bunch of spraying con look at uh, there's so many contracts i guess this mod fixes the whole fact that a lot of times people don't give us contracts for things and now there are contracts for everything that is a good contract right there but i don't want to spend an hour doing it 58 minutes to be to, 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 it's, with its estimate. There's another one. Soybeans. There is some good contracts here, and it would be nice to do them, but that's a long time. And I think we're going to be fine. It's borderline, don't get me wrong, but I think we're going to be fine. How many harvest ones are there? No, it shouldn't be, right? Not not yet. Uh, hit the key twice, hit the wrong button. Uh, no. And these are still sorted in order of profit, right? So, I mean, a couple of these spraying ones, like that are like 300 plus, might be worth knocking out, but we're not doing anything else this month. That's that's the thing. If we were doing all of our mowing and, and, and gathering up our grass, then it would be worth doing that. But since we're not, we're just doing a quick pause here, check here. Bread's still coming out okay. Looks good. We still got lots of flour. All right, let's fast forward one more month and get ready to mow our final time. Again, still feeling like I'm missing something, but I seem to be okay. So we got to get our bunker silo. We got to get our gathering thing or our forge wagon. That's what I'm trying to say, gathering thing. Um, which will probably lease that this first cycle, right? Because we got, if we didn't have the um, precision farming stuff to do, I would, I would get it, but we need to just we need to just lease it for right now all right so we are ready to mow i about had was jumping for well i say jumping for joy um it's still pretty expensive and probably more than we could have spent but i was like i thought this was the um forge wagon because there is a crone forge wagon right 
And I was like, that would be like the best timing of all time, <laughs> you know, but it is not. Yeah, there's this one. They, they look very similar, obviously. <laughs> this one just got the attachment on the front. Um, we need to... What do we need to do today? We need to... We got a lot of stuff to do today. So we can do some contracts. So I'm going to look at those real quick just to, so we can get some knocked out that are good. There's a lot of good contracts. All right, we're going to start with some spraying contracts just to get those rolling in the background while I'm working on other stuff. Oh, look, it actually comes with the John Deere sprayer. How convenient. Now, here's the funny thing. The contracts, I don't think, actually use the intelligence of the sprayer to make it cheaper. I think they just spray like blanket spray. Any of these that we would prefer over the others? I mean, I could borrow from... I want to borrow like a couple sprayers, I think. So I'll probably borrow 36 and 76 of sprayers and then just do all the fields with those. Borrow, borrow, and then we'll just start at the top, start working our way down. And I'm going to take four contracts at a time, which I think I've talked about before. Recognize the sprayer. All right, let's get a bunch of herbicides. Oh. <laughs> One bad thing about paying off my loan. I always forget to get it back again before I start trying to buy stuff. All right, herbicides. We're probably going to need at least... Four of these is my guess. Just to start with. No, I don't want fertilizer. I forgot that thing was so close. That's all right. I'll just dump it out way back here in the back. Did you just put herbicide in one end? What? <laughs> I didn't think it could do that. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna nudge this fertilizer out of the way. Why is the? I don't know why the fertilizer seems to like reach from like so far away oh come on really I was trying to get you off to the side there we go all right we're gonna dump this out no idea how that was able to reach the, I, it, the herbicide was obviously closer is what I'm saying um so that's a little bit of herbicide There's the fertilizer. Now we can pick up herbicide again. Silly game. All right, let's get you headed to the first field. Which I believe was 50. Because the, the two 36 and 76 are the, the borrowed ones, right? Not that we can't do those first. We can, but I'm going to head to the bigger ones first. So, field 50 or 56. Well, 56 is right across the road. So we're going to head you to 50 while I get the other guy prepped. You can go. You are blocked by an object. How are you blocked by an object? <laughs> what object? Okay, we're going to try this again. Now you can do it. You were just struggling because you weren't on the road. Weird. Sometimes the AI is funny.
you're good to go across the street, actually. Alright, you're good. You are just about there. I'll take you the rest of the way. We've actually got quite a bit of stuff to do today, like I said, so it would not surprise me if we can get a lot of these contracts done. Now, Getting these contracts set up does slow me down a bit, but I think it's worth it just to get the extra money coming in while we're doing other things. All right, you're good. Let's grab our mower. It just occurred to me, and it, I, maybe it's just perception, but it feels like... Okay, I think that's exactly what's happening. Wherever I lower or raise the front, like at that point in you know the map, that's where it lowers or raises the back. So if I lower you there, once I get to that point, it lowers the back. Okay. It's making more sense now. That's why sometimes it was going faster than other times, because I was just getting to that point quicker. That's, that's actually pretty convenient. I mean, it's smart, and I would hope for something this expensive. <laughs> we have some pretty smart technology. Uh, but I didn't realize that little railing was there. That is, that is actually really cool. And I've used this thing before, and I've never noticed that. Well, I say I've used this thing before. I've used this thing... Why is it... Angled funny. I think it's still working fine, but I think it just is being goofy all of a sudden. Or has it always been done that because of the way it's doing the swath? No, right? It's normally the sides go down all the way, don't they? <laughs> I could be making that up. I don't know. It just looks funny all of a sudden. Let me get you out of the way, my friend. Why you gotta be in the way? I don't think it's, it's not supposed to do that. <laughs> so we broke it. Oh no, we brought a broken mower. I mean, even the, yeah, the green lines there, that's, that's not, that's not supposed to be there. It's kind of funny though.
Are we losing any width on it? Or maybe maybe it is okay. Because the mowers themselves, are they down all the way? No, they're still up too. Okay. I, just, I thought maybe for a second there was just the swath parts that were raised up. No, it's, it's everything. It's kind of weird. Those contracts are almost done. All right, last row. And then we get to go to the big field. I think our guys are stuck or not doing something. Let's check on them. You are thinking you're done. That's just because you don't do this little bit down here. That's just fine. I can knock that out. We must be missing some on the other end, too. Yep. Done. Turn that one in. Find the next one. Next would be 59, so that's pretty close. Oh no, it's over here. Never mind. It's not the one I was thinking of. Um, we're going to bring you down this way. Continue. Nope. <laughs> You're still confused. Mostly because I don't want to go across that other bridge. We'll go slightly long way around. Um, you are just missing... What are you missing? Apparently you decided to go herbicide the meadow. That was nice of you. Actually, I have to do the full width. <laughs> I keep hitting the wrong buttons. Come on. There we go. It's not actually showing up. It's kind of funny. It's throwing me off a little bit. I'm assuming there's stuff on the other end. Because this is obviously not enough to get to 100. Let's go get you topped off before I move you along to the next one. Alright, 
Next on the list, you are done. Next would be uh, 81. Do we want to do that one? 11 is a pretty good one. Although if we do 81, we could do 73, 77, 72. I think all of those are right next to each other, aren't they? So we'll do 81 just because I think it's close to us. Yeah, I think those are all close together. Technically 76 is down there as well, which I guess we can knock out, just not turn it in. Uh, you are basically where we want you. Why does this crop look kind of suspicious to me? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I don't know anything about suspicious crop, but this just kind of looks suspicious, suspicious to me. What little bit I might know. All right, so you are almost there. You are, um, we need to fold you up. Get you moved over. Maybe during the folding and unfolding process, we'll actually fix you. Excuse me, ma'am. Right. You are there. Eighty-one will not take long at all. Literally a single pass. Uh, maybe not a, just a single one, but pretty close to it. All right. Almost a single pass. That one's done. Complete. We'll grab 73. That's close by. And big enough to uh, give me time to get back to my own field for a bit. Get you unfold. Please unfold correctly this time. <laughs> uh, I think that's mostly correct, right? <laughs> I think we're fine now. That was kind of weird. It almost looks like it's a little too high still, but I think it's actually just still touching the ground. Well, I say touching the ground. I don't think you're actually going to be touching the ground, but just off the ground maybe is the better word.
I love this thing turns on a dime. Next time we do this will be even faster because we can do our own wider swaths. Oh, we are good on 59. So let's turn you off. And get you turned in. And grab... Hmm. 77 and 72 can be done by that other guy. Are there any others that are close-ish? 29s. Not great. 69, oh, 69 is close. It's a big one. And it's going to take us a while, but it is, it is pretty close. Uh, 67 is also very... 67, 65, these are very, very close. We'll go ahead and knock these out real quick. Oh no, it's a sign. <laughs> I still took it out. I was trying to avoid it. All right. I think there's another one that's just... Yep, Joe's barely too wide. Or maybe better put, our device is just barely too narrow. Which, which of those phrases is more optimistic? And which one's the pessimistic side? It's done. 73 is about to be done as soon as he turns around and does one pass. I actually don't know how wide he needs it, but can't be that wide. Only 1%. Unless he's already done this and it's missing. There it is. I was going to say. Surely we would have gotten it by now. All right, so that's both of those. Uh, we will grab 77 for the one over here. And for this other guy, we'll grab, what was it, 60 something, 65? 69, uh, no, that's not the one. 65, there it is.
At least we can see the weeds on this one. <laughs> the weeds are the majority of the crop on this one. Alright, so that one's done. I mean, it's not much, but it's something. Uh, the next good spraying one for us over here would be... Is it back to 69 again? Yeah. And we need 2,200 liters, which we're just a bit shy on, but we can at least get it started. We might just have to enlist help from that other sprayer if he gets done and has some left over. Or just go get a refill. Whichever. All right, let's get you headed over here to the field. You gonna be able to make it? Of course not. You were having some issues, my friend. How is that? Okay, maybe it was an on the road. You're still blocked. You're still blocked. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'll do it myself. Oh, wow, we're way over time. All right, we're going to put a cut in there. When we come back, we will hopefully get some more stuff done on our fields. Uh, I know I'm getting into contract, uh, you know, never-ending world of contracts, but we just got to get over this hump of getting all the precision equipment that we need, and we'll go from there. But anyway, I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.